All right, it is uh, Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk joining me in studio, though they are late. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Hef and Andy, uh, two comedians that are going to be at the Hoagland Center for the Arts tonight. Guys, thanks for taking time with us. How are you doing? Thanks, Bishop. I appreciate it. Uh, I apologize for our, tardy, our tardiness. There's no way to say that word and not, not feel like you're going to get in trouble for you gotta, it. you got to get the, the pinky up yes. with the T and, yes. and talk about being tarty. <laughs> um, yeah, so, exactly. yeah, it works Emphasis out well. On that. Uh, so, yeah, why are you guys late? Uh, wh- why I drove are we- a 1993 Nissan Sentra. That's exactly, <laughs> that's 100% right. <laughs> Yes. I'm like, yeah. Is that is that is that the guys? Were you were you like stuck on the side of the road or something? Uh, no, wait. no. I just like to use it as an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's plenty that's, of it. Yeah. That's the only reason you have that is so you can show up late to work. Yes. And be like, dude, have you seen my car? Yeah. <laughs> dude, it's a, it's a well, total. Beat. An- Annie, what was your previous car? What was your previous? Yeah, it was a 1990 Honda Civic. <laughs> 1990. <laughs> Even older. Honda Civic. Guys, you're not making comedy look like a good venue, to, a, good, a good job to get into here. Well, I mean, I, I own that. I have, I have two vehicles. I have the 1993 Sentra and a 69 Chevy truck. So. I, I like that you have all cars that don't un- – like, if your car was a person, it wouldn't understand the internet at all. No, like, it's no, like, like, like all your cars no. are that old. All right, so, so you guys are uh, in town mm-hmm. uh, tonight. You got mm-hmm. a comedy show. Uh, Kevin Hef Kelman, mm-hmm. uh, you were here just a, a few weeks ago Yeah, uh, out of Buzz Bomb. It was awesome. It was it great. Was, uh, good to see people back laughing in a venue, drinking, having a good time. Uh, the the comedians you brought were were superb. Yeah, uh, an incredible mix. Uh, what do you got tonight? Well, tonight we have uh, some really great comics who've all played the biggest clubs in Chicago, like Laugh Factory and Zanies. If you, these are all people that open for big names, this is that type of show where you're gonna go and say like, I saw that person, I saw that, I saw them at, I saw them at the Hoagland Center. Like this is crazy. Um, I, I am so proud of the people I get to do shows with. The caliber of comedians out of Chicago, the mid. The Midwest in general, not just Chicago, is really, really high. So you get to meet people along the road and then book a show like this with them. Uh, Talk Moffitt's played Laugh Factory, Katie Miners, uh, Michael Keefe is going to be there, and he's uh, jetting out to New Orleans like <laughs> like right after the show to, to do gigs out there. So it was good to be able to sneak him in here. Uh, it's a really, really funny show, and Annie, Annie's going to be doing musical comedy, which is always a, kind of a, a way to spruce up the show. Uh, what does that entail? Well, um, I have a keyboard and a loop pedal, and I um, I do a bunch of dumb stuff with it. <laughs> do you like? Uh, yes. Do yeah. you uh, um, you know, mock modern music? Do you do like parody type stuff, or is it kind of almost like uh, Charlie from uh, uh, Always Sunny when he's uh, you know sniffing glue? <laughs> A little bit of all, all of all of the above. <laughs> I roll it all together. Don't sniff glue, kids. All right, that's no. Just don't no. do it. All right. So I mean, don't. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> all right, all right. It's a family-friendly yes, show. Exactly. And, and you're eating into my hero of the week hour. <laughs> hero right, of the week. So, don't uh, eat glue. Yeah, don't, <laughs> brought to you by Andy. Brought to you by the. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> With the thumbs up. Oh, I love it. That's yeah, beautiful. There we go. Um, all right. So tonight, uh, tickets are on sale. Yeah. Uh, what time does it start again? Uh, we're going to be at 8 p.m. It's uh, right in downtown. Great. We're going to be uh, drinking afterwards at Buzz Bomb. We're going to be back there. Uh, great venue. Do not get confused by the Rodgers and Hammerstein production of Cinderella that is going to <laughs> Oakland because we are going to be down the hall saying uh, d- deranged things and doing uh, – it's very much an adult show. Oh, I was going to ask. I mean – I was going to say that. Because when you guys were at Buzz Bomb, um, I wasn't too sure if it was- no. No, gonna be, we went know, for it. Yeah, you guys did. We you went for went it. All for it. And uh, that's the that's the show we're doing again too. We are from the rock station down the hall, by the way. <laughs> so like, there's definitely somebody like, oh no, okay, we, we got to be. This is the AM talk. We have to be. Oh yes, this yeah. is about <laughs> broadcasting and serious news topics. That's right. That's right. Uh, but no, we're also gonna make fun of ourselves. It'll be joyful and funny. And you can get your tickets right now at wqlz.com. Wqlz.com, right there. Uh, and uh, there, the links also up on our Facebook as well. So I gotta ask you guys. You're in the uh, the comedy space. Uh, we Here's had a Will a, Smith question. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> we, we had a bet about this. We had oh, a bet about this. I don't even this. have to ask the question. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, I did. I was in Texas last week, and every time I got, I was there for shows, and every time I got in a car, and they asked, oh, are you going to, the, you're going to this comedy club here? So are you for, um, are you, like, and then they would all get to it. They would all get to it, because it was, like, right after it happened. So, I, I just I think the whole thing's silly. I think Chris Rock was put in a really unfortunate position. I really wish he had he had more in the chamber. Did, Andy, you oh, and I talked about this. He bit his tongue. Didn't, he he, didn't it seem he, like he had more to say he after was, 
he, he held himself out. back. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Like we were we were watching. There was like that little that thing where he like you go, oh, if I could. Like there, mm-hmm. you, you, you could see it under. Yeah. And part of me is like, I wish it, I wish he had more. He could, he could just take more shots. And Will Smith and, asked, asked, like, it's a joke. You you go to the Oscars. It's Chris Rock on stage. You sign up for it. But as as far as you know, not just the the incident that happened at the Oscars. Yeah. As far as being somebody who's on a stage in. At least at Buzz Bomb, you were literally in the crowd. Yeah, right. I mean, it's you were, in the, you're in the round. You, you know? were you were there and and just a stone's throw away from people. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> does that give you any pause on maybe not telling a joke? You you you're not sure if it's nah. gonna offend that person out front. Nah, no, 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 not at all. Not at <laughs> all. Have you seen the car Andy drives? He doesn't care. Oh, and, and the thing is, of all the people I would worry about with Andy, because there's a there's a bit. I assume you'll be doing it tonight. Yes. Uh, that that is uh, very much. Um, a, uh, like, Something it, I would get I've, 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 if you did I've, in the wrong space. <laughs> if, if, I've been afraid of getting hit for it. it. It involves me singing directly to a person's girlfriend and hitting on them in front of their oh, boyfriend's no. face. And then also, but the second verse is I hit on the boyfriend. Uh, see, oh, but no. but see if they uh, don't see it coming. Yeah. They don't see it coming. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, you just gave away your whole act. Yeah. Uh, so uh, there you go. Well, uh, now if you're listening, you have a little, little preview. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, trailer. No, 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 no. Now, now they're wondering what's the song I want to get hit <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm hoping this. Uh, have this you ever, <laughs> any? We've done a lot of shows. Have you ever done it where it like doesn't go over well? There was the one time that one guy that that was like a. Uh, 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 what was the show on? Like, a- well, what did he do? What did he do? It's not important where we were. Like, we, we're used to doing the same show. So, we're, do you know, right. like, how bad did it go over? Was it clear the, that he didn't understand? He, it was, he was staring at the floor, clenching his fist the whole time. <laughs> she was all about the look it. on Bishop's face. She was all his. They like they must have been a first date or something. Like, she was all about it. She's like, get, like, this brass is great. knuckles out this or something. Is, he was just like he looked like like a welder type dude. Like, just like. I work at a factory and I don't need this. <laughs> you know. Uh, I love you, you gave him a job. You gave him a he, trade. I th- I think I actually he was a asked coal him. miner, yeah. a cattle rancher. Yeah. I don't go underneath the earth core for this. This is stupid. I'm a I'm a train machinist and I don't need this. So so you had that that incident where I don't know, did you feel threatened at that time? Dude, he well, he was like Glaring at the floor, yeah, clenching his fist. I could see his arm muscles like flexing, yeah. like yeah. with his closed fist. Yeah. Then he glared at me. Then he glared back back at the floor. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> so it was like it was. So he, he punked out. He, he was he, a coward, yeah, he, essentially. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what yeah. you're saying. The guy was a coward. He <laughs> didn't do anything. But I was like, if he did anything, he was a big dude. Big like I don't know if I could have fought him. Well, I, I just, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, Bill Hicks, uh, yeah. the late yeah. great Bill Hicks, and he had this just hilarious routine about. You know how he would go to some southern town and do his kind of offensive comedy routine. He's and performing then, for all the teeth in the town. Yeah, and then the people, you know, come up afterwards <laughs> and they're they're wanting to fight him. Yeah, and uh, just the way he's like, you know, <laughs> the way they're like, come here, and they, yeah. they push, come here, come here, <laughs> come here, come here. Um, so I, have, I don't have time. I don't have time to say both words. I gotta make it one more. Yeah. Come here, come here. Uh, have you? I mean, have you run into any of this? Uh, a, a little, a little bit, but then I think I, I, I guess my ex. I wouldn't describe it as aggressive or political or anything like that, um, but it's definitely loud, and I think people take it the wrong way. But it's also it's comedy. It's yeah, a it's joke. comedy. Right? He's like, got like the nickname. It, they call him Yellum Kellum for the, a reason. Yeah, I barely need the microphone. Um, so the it's, <laughs> it's um, true. the thing is, like, I just don't get where people take it so seriously. Like, yeah. the, you are signing up for a joke. Like mm-hmm. you, you, you went to yes. the comedy show because you wanted to hear jokes. It, it's like getting mad when you go to a scary movie that's supposed to scare right. you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like it's, I guess by Part of it is you don't want the laughs at your expense, but you've been if you've ever been to a comedy show, you go and you'll be this with a group of people and you have this all the time, like, oh, it's so and so's birthday. Can you make sure right. you make fun of that? And I, and I get that to to a degree too, and that's fine. That's people come out for occasions and stuff like that as well. And I especially with comedy, people expect it to to a degree. Just don't derail it. Bat, bachelorette parties are the worst. They're the worst. Mm. Tonight's mm-hmm. about Stephanie. We need to make it about Stephanie, but really, you want to make it about you. And, and, and so. then they get out the sex toys, and it's just like, oh, okay, yeah. we well, got, we got to stop. Right? Sh- shout out something. Whiskey Jacks downtown. They have a claw machine filled with them downtown. <laughs> <Yeah>. right there. <laughs> All right, well, Hef, I owe you at least two or three drinks. I don't know. You you kept giving me drinks at the last show, so I'm going to have to uh, try to find you afterwards. Uh, some and, Midwestern and some courtesy. Yeah. That's right, absolutely. <laughs> um, but, guys, good luck tonight. Uh, do you – 
I know you say break a leg to, to theater performers. What yeah. do you say to, to comedians? I, I think break a leg is fine. Yeah. Right? Break but, a leg. But, but now we have now destroy this current, your leg. <laughs> <laughs> in this current climate, I don't know if this is the right thing to suggest yeah. to the audience. <laughs> In this current well, climate. Well, half break a leg. Thank you. Andy, get a flat tire. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I, just, I, I just had one to replace. We're, we're going to come back here in an older car the when next I time we do the, the show. When I saw that car coming into the parking, I'm like, is that the newspaper delivery guy? Or who, is, who is that? Nice try. Uh, I love it. No, it's great. It's fantastic. Um, guys, again, uh, break a leg. Good Thank luck you. tonight. Uh, thanks for bringing comedy because, I, I at least for me, Comedy was the first thing that I did with my wife when we went to go see Jim Brewer great. in the Chicago suburbs during the mm. pandemic. It was oh, like, yeah, you know, nice. getting out and we had a great time. Uh, I really think that uh, comedy has always been kind of punk rock. It is. And it's coming back mm -hmm. to where you're getting that small, intimate setting. You're able to, to let and back. This and this show is an intimate show. Yeah. I know a lot of people see Hoagly and they think big, giant theater. It's a huge complex. And so we're, we're playing an intimate show. Come out, have a great time. If you've never been to a live comedy show, there's a great way to start. If you like HBO Max, Netflix shows, this is that. This is all of that and more. Uh, the tickets are up now at WQLZ.com. I'm going to start a mosh pit. <laughs> hey, exactly. Andy, I'm, I'm Andy all for it, it, man. Yeah. I'm all for it. All Comedy right. mosh pit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, it's great. Uh, fantastic. So that's just some of what you're going to see tonight at the Hoagland Center for the Arts. Go to WQLZ.com. You'll be able to buy tickets. Hef, Andy, both of you, thank you so much for being here, even if you were, like, you know, 30 minutes late. Yes. All right? We deserve it. Shame is important. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, these, these, these rock star personalities. These, these big punk rock jerks. These, these big these guys, jerks. These big you know, egos. And you know who's not on time? Punk rock. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll definitely uh, see you soon. It is WMAY here on 92.7, 94.7.